I thought I'd do a quick video of my home office setup. So I put myself over here in the corner. I have a studio, so it's pretty small here, but in the studio, when I use my camera, the film in the background looks like I have a beautiful background. That's really all that you see, and it works out perfectly. Uh, even though it's not functional back there, it still just looks nice for whenever I need to film a video. Now, I do have an Apple Mac Pro, so I put it, this is kind of unsightly, but I did put it on a stand. It's much better because all of the wires here in the back really need to connect to things on my desk at a higher level. It really doesn't need to connect to anything on the floor, so, this honestly just saves me from buying longer cables and makes the floor just a little cleaner. Now I do have two trays. This tray uh, is, I could hang it, but I just leave it here on the top. There's plenty of room and it is a uh, cord just to hold these two external drives. This is where a lot of things plug into. I have a power issue in my house, so I have to plug in all of the electronics that you see here, the monitors, the computer, the camera, into different outlets in the house. If I plug them all into one outlet, the power goes out. I don't know why. It's like it's too much. It overwhelms the circuits. This is the best purchase I have ever made is the CalDigit hub. It is a USB hub. It has... Um, things for discs and it has sound and it has thunder cables. It is a huge lifesaver because I bought the cheap ones and those, just as you know, you get what you pay for. They don't always work that great. Now these monitors are the XDRs. They are both 5,000s. These are the official stands from Apple that are a thousand each, but totally worth it because if you're gonna buy a $5,000 monitor, you don't want it to accidentally tip over and fall. Uh, so these are really nice and sturdy. Now, I do have a Logitech Pro when I do webcam, I guess, work or I have meetings. It's just much easier and faster than using the Sony, which I could use as my DSL or as my webcam, but I just never do. Um, these are lights, so you can see the lights on and I can turn it off. And it just kind of lights up the immediate area and it just kind of sits there on the top, kind of out of the way. Uh, and then over here, I have another tray to hold some more cords just to get them a little bit off the ground so they are out of the way. So let's walk around on the other side. Oh, this is here on purpose because the power button is right here and always, and without fail, whenever I'm working on something important or really anything at all, even non-important things, Lucky likes to walk on everything. He walks on the top of this and when his little foot hits that power button, it turns off my entire computer. And I lose everything. Uh, all right. So over here on the front, I have the two monitors and then you can see, oh, there he is. Hey, Lucky. All right. Uh, I have my mic over here and I have it on one of those Elgato arms so it can swing out in case I am talking here on the webcam or I can leave it here when I film right in front of the camera. And then I do have an external stereo um, system just because the sound coming out of the Mac Pro isn't the best. So having an external um, speakers is much easier. Now I do, this keyboard came with the Mac Pro. I don't know why but it's the keys are black i don't know what color they are normally but it's a totally different color and i do have a super old mouse and the reason i have a super old mouse is one the thinkpad it's really small so it's easier for my hand and i noticed with having a wired mouse I, I don't get any delay and i do graphic design and it's just much easier to use this and plus with this big mac pro it's not like i need a wireless mouse to like take it to go places and honestly, it's really the only wire here. So, you know, there's so many wires. I'm okay with that. And then I can put on the post-its, whatever I'm working on for the day. And I can see that right there. Now I do have a trackpad over here. I rarely use it. I just bought it as a backup just in case. I can't remember. I think my mouse died for some reason. Anyways, so I have the trackpad. There's a couple applications the trackpad works a little easier with. Um, and then I do have my iPad mini over here and it sits on the stand so I can just kind of use it and reference it whenever I need to. Um, and this is the XLR for the, for the mic. 
So that is my whole setup. Oh, I forgot to mention, this is the best thing ever. This is my, what is this? This is a huge, huge mouse pad. And it's like, I, I don't know why gamers really like these mouse pads. I just like it because I got sick of moving things around. So I always had to have the mouse pad wherever the mouse was. And this way I can just move the mouse wherever I feel like. And it really doesn't matter. So that is my home office setup.